Automatic batching isn't a new concept. It was introduced even before React 18. And here I have a React 17 application that will show you exactly what it was. Now, why do we even need automatic batching? If you know the theory, you'll know that every single time a state update happens, the whole component gets re-rendered, right? Now, the issue is, what if I have multiple state updates lined up one after another? So let's say I have two or five or 10. Does my application or my component have to be re-rendered 10 times? Well, here's when automatic batching comes in. Here in my React 17 application, I have, this is, this is just a simple application that has two state items, one called counter, the other one called toggle. I have my button that when clicked updates both. And also I have my logger component here that all it does, it just displays render in a console so that I can know how many times uh, the component was re-rendered, right? So now I'm gonna click the button and please notice that I have two state updates lined up one after another. I'm clicking the button and see, I, I only have one render consult. Uh, the console <laughs> log is only one. And see, the console log the word render only once. Now, why, is that, why does that happen? It's because React 17 and previous ones too knows that, oh, okay, if I have multiple state updates lined up one after another, I should batch them and the component should be updated or re-rendered only once. Now, let's take a look at what happens when I wrap those state updates inside of a set timeout. And the set timeout part doesn't really matter here. What matters is that it, it, it has a callback and that callback has those state updates. So I'm saving and I'm refreshing my application and I'm clicking the button. And as you can see, the state was updated twice. Now this is exactly what I don't want and this is exactly what React 18 fixes. So let's take a look how React 18 deals with that. So here I have a video clip, a side-by-side -side comparison of two applications. They are the same applications, they have the same code. The only difference is that one is running, is running React 18, the other one is running React 17. Now, as you can see here, the code is the same. They both have the same state updates inside of set timeout. But now let's play the clip and let's see what happens. And please, please, uh, please pay, <laughs> sorry, please pay close attention to the console here. So on the left, it's React 18 and I click the button and see it only has one render, even though React 17 has two render uh, lockdown in the console. Now, why does that happen? It's because React 18 also takes into consideration the state updates inside of callbacks, inside of promises, not only on the uh, on the event uh, handler handler level, but just in general, all kind of state changes. And this is great, right? Because I don't want my component to be unnecessarily updated multiple times. I want it to be updated once and, and that's great. And I'm super, super happy that the React team uh, took care of that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple concept, uh, but, but yeah, uh, this is automated batching. I can still opt out of the automated batching. So see, currently it's on because it's automatic. But if I do want to have my component re-render every single time I, or well, on any kind of state update, I can use the flush sync function that the React theme provided. Uh, flush S, Y, and C, okay. So I wrap my uh, I wrapped my state changes inside of a flash sync, and I'm gonna I saved my application. I refresh it. I click the button, and see, my component was re-rendered on every state change. Pretty cool. One important note that I realized after I finished recording <laughs> is that if you want to use that new automated batching for React 18, you have to use the new create root application. If you continue using the typical React DOM that render, you will not be able to use those uh, this this cool new feature. So make sure you're using the create root function from the React DOM slash client package. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so please leave a like if you like the content, subscribe, and please let me know in the comments if there's any topic you would like me to cover. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. See you next time.